Welcome back to The Spot. Remember, you can join us on Facebook, Twitter, and also via email. Send in your comments, um, your abuse for these guys, whatever it is you want to say, send it in. You're actually quite rude. I hope you know that. I think it's you know, some, time no, for someone told five, her that she was it? looking nice today when she was coming. No, in, it's, but don't say someone. You are one of the people that told her she looked nice. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay, you, did. you look nice. Thanks. It's not a lie. I believe you, but you, don't, you don't look as nice as our top five today. Oh. Oh. What is our top five? Speaking <laughs> of top fives, ha, 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 segue. <laughs> um, <laughs> just in case people were wondering what a segue was. Yes. That was it. Yeah. So today's top five is the top five hottest female athletes. Mm -hmm. Female at Ni at Nigerian. Nigerian. Nigerian athletes, yeah, yeah at the Commonwealth Games, mm. which, yeah. So yeah, a few hotties out there. Quite a few hotties. And, you know, and I think when you've got an athletic body, uh, yeah. it's kind of like... Uh, that's, a, that's a big plus. Great. So Great. at number five, we've got Gloria Sumner. No, number sorry. five. Sorry, who's number five? Number five is Blessing. Oh, Blessing. No, no, but Bless wasn't Le Blessing Le just like a, she was queen. So she's, she's queen like a, a, a highlight. She's, she's mother hen. So she's not, oh, so she's not number, number five. <laughs> she's just like she, she, on she, her you own. Can't, you can't put her with all these people. She's like there. She's a boss lady. Auntie Blessing. <laughs> Auntie Bleble. 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 <laughs> I do love her though. Yeah, yeah. she's good. I, she, she I mean, really her legs well. like are like, I don't know. She, she really has well. legs Super Super tall. Yeah. Really tall. Her hair is sometimes questionable, but that's okay. <laughs> she likes her <laughs> loud look. <laughs> but that's okay, Blessing. I'm okay with that. Because the, people said the rest of and her I find is it. Also the like hair she took the Commonwealth Games. The was blonde. Like, people were like, it was, she was predicting. Oh, All the gold medals she was going to win. <laughs> I see. So if that's, if that's her jazz, she can keep on using it. I, mean, I find it interesting the way she runs, like, because when they did the, um, the replay and the close-up, like, her like eyes up, up, were... Yeah, and her eyes almost closed. Like, pretty much closed the entire time. I don't know That's intense. That. It was the wind. Yeah. Because she's running so fast, the wind was getting in her eyes. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Okay. Who Shout else is on your list, guys? Regina George. I think she's really, really hot. Yes. Her abs... Her mm, abs are too good. But you see, like, I, I wouldn't be able, I can't. I, like, I love them on other people, but it's yeah. just so much work. You like she has a really good body. She does. She's got, she's got an Great interesting legs. look. She's like half she's, Venezuelan. Yeah. Yes, and I Nigerian. know. Is it her mom that's... Her mom no, is Venezuelan, well, her dad is yeah, Nigerian. Yeah. Yeah. But she was born in America, so it's like three. Yeah. yeah. And, and she, she chose she, to run for us. She did, indeed. Yeah. And she's very talented. She and is. she's very, obviously, she's obviously very expressive. Like, she's, you can see that she's, she's a very strong individual just very by her confident. style. Yeah. You know, like yeah. the way she, you know, the way she dresses. She's got her, her she's got that lip piercing, like, this right at the corner. Yeah. And she, she, she usually has, like, funky stuff. Like, I've seen her with, like, blue lipstick and, like, you know, just, you know, so she's, like, a fun... Yeah, kind she's of, hot. Yeah, and she's a hottie. One very interesting one is Nicole Demby. Mm. She's American. She switched to Nigeria nationality in May. She's actually a mother. She's married with kids, I think. How many but her kids body does is she have? Tight. Yeah. Like, people Super. think she's a Kardashian because of how... <laughs> she's like her this. body is tight. <laughs> she's very hot. Yeah. And there's Dominic Duncan, who's... Who doesn't even look Nigerian. Yeah. At all. At all, in mm. any way. Yeah. And she has all these tattoos and piercings, and, and she's, she's another just crazy. like uber cool street yeah. kid kind mm -hmm. of. I was following her on Twitter when the thing, the Commonwealth Games was going on. I think a lot of Americans just found out she has switched nationality, oh. and they were really angry. And I just saw a tweet where she like went off on everybody. She's like, I don't care what you guys think. Yes, I'm Nigerian now. Deal with it. I'm like, oh yay. Okay. <laughs> she was uh, very very interesting angry. Interesting to find out why she, why, why switched, she switched. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but thanks for com coming on board, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Gloria Sumno. Yes. Who's also really, she also has the, I think the like cut. an eight pack or something. No. Hot girls, hot girls. Yeah, beautiful and talented. Yeah, talented and as well. doing great things for Making Nigeria. So you know what? Round Shout out to you, you ladies. Guys. That's our top five, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. It is time. It is time. For game one? No, no, no it's, it's time, for, time for us to introduce our guest of the day. Yes. yes. Um, we're going to be talking something pretty serious today, so we're going to be needing someone who's a specialist in that area. Um, it's, we're going to be talking about skin, skin conditions and all of that, especially focusing on albinism. But before we get to that, we're going to meet our guest for today. She's a trained medical doctor, trained in America. Oh, yes. Authentic. But she came back home to contribute, bring in, Welcome. like we had once. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Dr. Chioma Duru. <laughs> Dr. Duru in the house. Oh, my God. She can't believe you. Okay, we can introduce you as a specialist. <laughs> You're a specialist. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Eyes. Hi, guys. Thank you. 
I just feel like when people get to call you doctor, I know, right? there's a different kind of level to it. Are you used to it Sorry, how long have you been a doctor for? Uh... Three years. Three years. Okay, so you are used to it now. No, sometimes it's still like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in my house, if you are training for like sort of like a specialized or sort of whatever degree, Special they start calling you doctor before you graduate. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I was no, barista. I mean, my whole level was already barista. I mean, barista. I'm like, it's I'm not different when they're calling anymore. you at home, but like when people, people you're or you're sitting in the form and, and you're like mm -hmm. doctor. Oh, like, oh my God. <laughs> mm. Is medicine ah. what you always wanted to do? Oh. Well, yes. I know. Oh. I know. <laughs> Mommy, daddy, I think you should be a doctor. Yes, no, you know, like how um, growing up, I'd always loved reading. Like, all I do is read. I'm not the most playful, I'm never the most playful child. So everybody's like, hmm, I like taking care of people. Doctor. Doctor. Oh, wow. So they kind of spoke it they into you. Something like that. Subconsciously. So mm. to me, medicine, that's Are you enjoying it, though? Oh. Okay. See, I feel like medicine is a hard thing to say you enjoy because no, what you do is you take care of six people. Six people, yeah. it's like mm. no, people enjoy I, the... I do sometimes. Mm -hmm. okay. I really, I can't deny that. There are mm. times when I do, but there are times when it's like, especially here. The conditions here, yeah. Yeah, it's makes it. It's like you guys are on strike like every other week. Mm. <laughs> I would <laughs> like to refrain from that. Thank you. Do not put our dog on spot. the spot. <laughs> well, <laughs> these strikes are for most of the time valid reasons. Mm -hmm. I understand what you mean though, because I mean, I, I've heard about how much doctors earn in this country. Right. And I can't for the life of me understand how you go to school for like 300 years. Yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> and 11 you come to out. million years. Oh my goodness, yes. And you come out and you're getting a yeah. Twitter naira. I don't get yeah, it. Pitters. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes for me, it's not just about how much we're not getting. It's just the conditions you have, you to, have to work, work in. in. They're terrible. Mm. Give us no, an that's example. That's putting it mildly. <sighs> you know how like the things you think are the simplest things, like you're in a hospital and you know that a hospital bed can be moved. Right. And then you're trying to get this bed up and it won't it's work. Not going anywhere. Oh. And it's just a bed. And it's just a bed. And that's like the most basic thing. Mm -hmm. Or you're trying to, oh, somebody needs oxygen and then you're like, oh, You've run out. there's no mask. <laughs> So you're it's like, not funny, may we like, never it's see not hospitals. About, <laughs> it's not about the pay sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's like, can I thing. help these people? Can you help me help these people? Oh, wow. So that's why, you know, yeah. strike. Mm. All right. Well, on that note, guys, we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll be getting into today's topic. And uh, we'll be still here with Dr. Duru. See you in a bit. Welcome back, guys. If you're just joining us, you're in time for our topic of the day. We're talking skin conditions today. We're going to be finding out which of them are, you know, easily transmitted, which of them are actually diseases or not. And we'll have Dr. Dury right here in the house with us. Dr. D. Help Does us. anybody call you Dr. D? I like, I like to yeah. call her. I've never called I you Dr. Dury before. No. <laughs> this feels good. Dr. D. Yeah. So let's actually start with probably the most, would I say the most common? On this side. On this side, which is albinism. And, mm -hmm. you know, people still, it's still very misunderstood. Yeah. What is it exactly? And why is it, I know even some places it's like, uh, it's still like a taboo. Mm. What is it with this condition and why is it so serious for some people? Well, um, albinism is, uh, it's like a genetic defect. And, okay, medically would say it's an autosomal recessive. Mm -hmm. That's the pattern of inheritance. Oh, okay, so, so it's a recessive gene. Yeah, so it's like, of two people who are not albinos but happen to be carriers okay. now like their genes donate and then the child could be an albino okay so it's really for the most part not anything there's the regular people yeah. it's just mm. the gene responsible for uh, the melanin mm -hmm. production mm -hmm. is yes. defective and then they even have like different types like and stages i guess not really, I won't say stages, but different types because mm. there are people who, act, who have albinism that only affects their eyes. Ah, yeah, okay. okay. okay and they're okay, just like, okay. oh, you have great hazel eyes. Yeah, yeah. so like <laughs> the, that, the black part, your eye normally, mm -hmm. they don't have that. Oh. Then there's people who now have like the eyes, skin, the hair, hair mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. So yeah, it's, but then there's no spiritual that's the thing because i remember when i was you know when i was when i was younger that's that was the 
not like anybody said it, but it was just kind of like the thing. If you saw um, an albino, it just seemed like uh, it, everybody had to explain it in a, oh, it's a spiritual thing. It's ours, it's like a weird taboo thing. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not taboo. I'm okay. nice. Thank you. It's just yeah, it's a just chemical a that go missing somewhere. Yeah. I think that probably comes with, um, like, when people try to find means to explain certain things. Right. Like, I've read up on stories of um, people who think, or especially in like places like Tanzania, where they feel as though um, it's like a curse or something because I know they get killed in Tanzania. Yeah, and yeah. it's associated with witchcraft, and you know they start selling body parts. And I've heard the horrible stories. Yeah, that's terrible. What what what? How do I put it now? You said people can be carriers, and so it's definitely genetic. Yes, completely. Definitely genetic. Is there? It's a not. Okay. No, it's not. It's it's you inherit it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I it, the the different. The different types have different severities. Mm -hmm. So there are actually some rarer forms of albinism where they have like other illnesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for the most part, it's usually just the fair skin, fair I hair. I know because your like melanin is not like is def is yeah, what yeah. yeah. it's deficient. It's deficient. deficient. Yeah, there are certain things you shouldn't do, like you know the sunlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have they to have, always need have a lot of protection. They need more protection yeah. than normal people because uh, yeah, if they if they're overexposed. They, they have burn. they burn more easily. And then there's it. also a higher cancer risk for them. Yeah, because I've seen you know yeah. I, you can usually you can tell usually when you see because if you see someone walking and they're an albino and you you can tell if they have if they don't maybe have some block or whatever on, or if they've been constantly exposed to the sun because they tend to look quite red. You know, so that, you know, obviously they, they've had, um, like, maybe sunburn or whatever. You know, it's hot in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if you're under the sun a lot, you, even in general, with regular, with, you know, if you have proper, if, you're, if, you, if you don't have yeah, a melanin deficiency, possible. they tell you to put on sunblock because even if you don't see it, the sun affects your skin. So I feel like, you know, there's also the need to sometimes educate Especially mm -hmm. if I don't think that there's, there's a lot of education about that. They're just like, okay, well, you're an albino, so you know, yeah, I mean, go it. about your normal life, but they don't yeah. tell you, oh, well, you know, make sure that you must protect yeah. Yeah. your skin so and most your. Most of the time, they just learn that with time. With time, they realize that exactly. You go out without to the sun, any, yeah. What I find very interesting okay. is that there's actually something called the Abino Foundation in Nigeria, mm. and um, they have a president, um, Jake. I don't want to ruin his surname now, but it's, it's, they're very, very serious in Nigeria. So what they do is things like this now where people don't some albinos maybe not just really rich who don't know these things who can't afford some block yeah. who but probably are even homeless there's some people who get kicked out from their homes because yeah. they feel like you are so it they works. do all of this sensitization i know they give scholarships to some people i read in the newspaper some time ago one of the girls who they sent to the uk got a degree and a master's from their that's the great. money they raised and all of that so that's great i know they're quite powerful in nigeria at least that foundation in particular, and it's all, it's headed by an albino and everybody who's there, the organization is run, but they have some patrons mm -hmm. who are like, you know, um, from governments and stuff like that, so. But another myth, I think, most people think it's only people of African descent who have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah people no. think, yeah. but Caucasians think actually. It's, very, it's just more obvious because you're African yeah. Yeah. Black. To be black, <laughs> but there's actually different, like I said, different types yeah. that are peculiar to different races. Like there's one that's more in Puerto Ricans. There's actually a type of albinism where they're not fair haired. They have reddish brown hair. Oh, I think I've yes, seen the pictures yes, of, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Okay. I don't know, there was a, there's a particular place I remember someone said they have a lot of them on that particular. It's like an island. It's like a sort of a tro tropical island or something like that. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of kids, and they took pictures of them, and they had like the reddish brown hair. But they're and still quite darker. Yeah, they're still um, they're a bit yeah. darker, but yes. their hair the hair was different, yeah. and their eyes I think were also different. So that's, yeah, that's interesting. So like I said, there's East, there's a there's a form that's more common in East Asia. There's one that's more African, and then there's the yeah, co so Caucasians Puerto too, Ricans. They yeah. have. Everybody. Just everybody has okay. their own. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to take a quick break right now. When we come back, we'll be discussing some other skin conditions right here on the spot with Dr. D. See you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. We're talking skin conditions today on the spot, and we have Dr. Chioma Duri right here in the house. And before the break, we we're talking about albinism, but we want to expand a little more to other you know, sort of skin conditions. And something that's caught my eye recently. Um, courtesy of a friend of mine, Glory Edozian, who's done a documentary and has done like, I think several talk shows as well and did a write-up actually for the first time in 2010 when she came out to talk about her condition is psoriasis. psoriasis. I keep getting the name mixed up. And um, it's very 
it's a very in interesting, I'm using that word very loosely now, condition, because her story was that she was perfectly fine. She said she never even really had paid attention to her skin because her skin was just great. People would ask her, what cream, what cream do you use? Because she was beautiful. And then at 22, she said, noticed a rash somewhere and she just, you know, she itched and she thought it would go away. Mm. And in like a year, her entire body was covered. Until date, she's been that way. Her entire body? Yeah, her entire body. It's like... So I hear something about your, 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 your dead skin grows out faster than normal or something along those lines. Ah. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I, is yeah. it in, in any way related to um, eczema? Like... No. No. It has because nothing to do with dirt I, or anything. I know just um, somebody else who kind of developed it, but she had eczema to begin with, and then it just kind of no, developed is, and got around her different. scalp, especially, yeah. not no. over her mm -hmm. entire body. That, that's probably something, something else. Something else, else yeah. yeah. Mm. This one is different, because I think from her right up, if I remember clearly, she explained something about how, for a normal human being, you, your dead skin grows out every 30 days or something and you know naturally it just goes you off you don't even off notice because as long as you take your bath it just goes off but with the condition it happens like every three days which is like 10 times faster wow. but what happens is that it doesn't fall off so it's like a scale on your skin okay. and you have to so you have a lot of creaming and yeah. it's very tough and i heard i don't know if there is a cure is it no. yeah no is there's it's not treatable, it's, right? yeah but it's treatable because they have um rela they have like Stages of remission, times of remission. Yeah, times when it goes then. down and then... Yeah. So there's some people that they're stressed. It just... It flares up. Yeah, they have a flare. But yeah. then you go back and continue. Yeah. Interesting, I heard Kim Kardashian has it. Yes. yes. Kim K has a disease. Okay, not a disease, <laughs> sorry. It's just a skin condition that she's like, wow. it, it I remember be, hers might not be that bad. Well, or she it, had. Maybe she's receiving. I remember she had flare ups during the pregnancy. N well, no, even, strangely even enough, before. it was even before. It was even before that because I remember, you know, with the show, is her show's been on for years, and I remember yeah. maybe a couple years ago, at least or two or three years ago, or so seeing a couple of episodes where she was just weeping, weeping about the fact that she had, she had a flare up, and her mom apparently has, has it. it as well. And so she, you know, and she just noticed it one day and then the doctor diagnosed it and she used to do things like sit in the bath of like goat's milk and, you know, she did all kinds of stuff ah, to try and get rid of it. So she's been able to, I think, manage it to Her some evidence. extent. So, you know, it's one of those things, I think, where you just kind of need to understand, um, you, you need to understand what makes it flare up and yeah. how to deal yeah. with it and all that stuff. Because with the skin, I mean, you honestly, it's just, it's there. You, yeah. you need to deal with it. You kind of forget that it's an organ on its own and it's like... It does its own thing. Organ. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what happened with her. Because she was like, I was, I'm talking about glory now. I mean, when you are perfectly okay, Fine. and then something appears, you're like, okay. It took her years to actually understand what it was. And she, she said the biggest problem for her was people thinking it was contagious. Yeah. So people would actually not want to shake her hands because mm. they'd be like, ah. Yeah, that's it's the like thing about not, things that show up. Yeah, it's not, yeah. it's not communicable in any way. No. It's not at all. But Vitiligo is another skin yeah. disease that... Um, Famously, I'm, maybe. Yeah, famous. I mean, yeah, I, by I, Michael I must Jackson. say that I didn't know anything about vitiligo until, you know, MJ. MJ. Yeah, yeah, until MJ. MJ. And now, you know, you get a lot of these different young people who do suffer from it and who are, you know, loud and proud. And yeah. there's, yeah. I remember... I've seen some very serious model. cases now. There's a model who yeah, has symmetrical I, I, yeah, I go, and she looks so name. pretty. Oh, yeah. she's a person, her name. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, I mean, with, with all these things, I think it's just very interesting. And it's very... The, the point of it really is to educate ourselves and, yeah. you know, uh, and understand it and know that there's usually... I mean, there's no really... There's really no need to maybe stigmatize somebody because no. they have a skin issue. Because they're perfectly normal otherwise. It's, with vitiligo especially, most... Yeah. It, it happens, it just comes. And, with, and the thing about vitiligo is almost like reverse albinism because yeah. they usually start off... Dark. Dark. Red, and you then, know, and then even skin. And patches then, start appearing. Yeah. From t with time, they start to have patches. Can you and treat then they expand. Um, vitiligo? Not really. I, don't I mean, know there's can. no like permanent treatment. Yeah. There's like steroids, UV. There's some okay. ultraviolet light treatments that they do, but I wouldn't say any of them is curative. Yeah, per se. Because it's autoimmune, so it can always come back. Yeah. Okay. It's there. Yeah, most people I know. I mean, I know it, there's one if a family friend of mine who's very wealthy. So when they're talking about a cure, I know that if he found a cure, he would <laughs> go fix it. And his own started from his face. Yeah. So he has like patches on his face and his lips went and it's, mm -hmm. and it's not complete yet. So he still looks a little, people see him and they go, oh. but I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. Mm, yeah. He's perfectly okay. He runs his business. He's married. Yeah. He just has vitiligo, <laughs> which is, you know, and it's also the same thing with psoriasis. People think it's communicable as well, but it's not. Yeah. 
I, I mean, you know how Nigerians are like, <laughs> I think ah, we need to, yeah, I think we need know? to, we, we're very quick in, t even in, in Africa, I would say, not yeah. even just Nigeria, we're very quick to see something that we don't necessarily understand. And instead of trying to understand it, it's, it's either a curse or uh, it's something a spiritual, spiritual something. I'm just like, why is everything it's spiritual? The the medical things, they yeah. happen. Like if you can get malaria, you can get, you know, psoriasis or eczema or vitiligo or whatever it is. Yeah. So. Are there any ways of preventing any of these things? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. I think no. They're Not no, even psoriasis. It just comes. Inherited. No, they're all there. They're all like you know, Are they all genetic? Well, I don't know if vitiligo is. Um, some of them have like an autoimmune cause, which is also inherited. Just that it may not be, it may not have been ever, it may not have ever manifested like that oh, okay. in a prior generation. Okay. But you really can't, there's no, oh, I'm going to prevent it by doing this. No. Mm -hmm. Just when you have it, you manage it. Wow. The luck of the draw. Mm. Okay. Well, it's time for another quick break. Yes, yes it, it is. is. Okay, when we come back, you guys, we're going to see what's happening in the social media world, and we will be back with more. And of course, Dr. D, still in the building. Welcome back to the spot. We're still here having a good time and um, it's time for us to check out what you guys at home had to say with Social Media Roundup. So um, first up is from A underscore Ferran, Ferran me or Ferran, Ferran me. Ferran me. Ferran me. Ferran me. Ferran me. Ferran me. And, um, Say Look, it's not Ferran me either. <laughs> and um, this is what they said. You just have to respect Moabudu of the spot for her brave of advent. The spot? Yeah, in <laughs> redefining the global view of Africa. We, I guess we should say thank you on behalf of MA. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. Um, Second next. one. Oh, no, I want to read this one. Okay. Can I read this one? Go on. Which Kay. one? This one is actually from somebody who, at the time, you know, this was when Z was on vacation, and we had so many pleas and so many begs, and we honestly, we begged her to come back, but she said she didn't really like you guys like that. So this is from Cleo lie. Sexy on Twitter, who says, love mates not complete without Zainabu. Please bring her back. Hashtag bring back our beautiful Z. Please we brought her back. <laughs> I'm happy. Let's this be guy careful with these hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm back. Yes. Um, so Thank you. Next one is from St. Tracy's. Mm. Love you guys. Ebuka, your accent seems to be changing or let it go. <laughs> no, let it, <laughs> no, not, let go. it not go. <laughs> you are the only, <laughs> we are the only Niger brought up on set we can hear well. I am so sorry, St. <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> My accent is not going anywhere. St. Tracy, St. Tracy. I love her. That's great. Okay. I will stay loyal <laughs> to the cause. These cause ain't loyal. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I'm not a hetero. And I'm loyal. <laughs> so we're going to actually now move on to the TV to check out our Friday foods, which is where we have um, our chef Uzo showing us how to make a rum punch. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Friday Food. My name is Uzo and I'm coming to you from my food lab. I know that a lot of people try to do more healthy eating over the weekend with fruits and salads, but I personally don't really like fruit salad, but I have come up with a way to make it a little more interesting for me and I think it's something that you will enjoy. To put together this fruit salad, you will need fruits in season. I like the nice pocket friendly ones, watermelon chunks, deseeded, Popper and pineapple are my basic fruits. You can add bananas as well, but bananas can be a bit weird if you keep them in the fridge for too long. Now, what makes this fruit salad interesting is I've got here a mixture of cashew nuts and flaked coconut, which is the local flaked toasted coconut in this bowl, and some unsweetened natural yogurt. And all I'm going to do is toss everything into a big bowl First, the pineapple goes in. You want to toss your fruit first before adding the other elements. The papaya goes in next. And the watermelon goes in last. Then I'm going to add the crunchy element, which will give me the texture, which makes the fruit a little better for me to, to deal with. So the cashew nuts and the toasted coconut. And finally, the yogurt. You can add any kind of yogurt that you like, but the moment you start complicating it with flavors and sweetened versions, then you're taking away from the healthy quotient of the salad. With a nice wooden spoon, go in and mix your fruit and yogurt. 
this yogurt coated fruit concoction i remember seeing it somewhere when i was in university i think it's called ambrosia it's some variant of ambrosia which is supposed to be the food of the gods so i'm sure i just i just thought of it one day and i was giving myself props but then i realized that i probably got inspiration from someplace else so here we have it um make sure that the fruit is evenly coated and i like to start with fresh cold fruit because it reduces the preparation to eating time and so in a smaller glass bowl you can take the whole bowl and sit in front of the tv however you can also scoop and there you have it food for the gods i thought i invented it but it's really just a sexy fruit salad until the next time i come your way again have a wonderful wonderful weekend thank you uzo mm. i love fruit salads but i just feel like it takes forever and then the preparation time, yeah. you'll make, give it a, an interesting twist. Yeah. I'll never have thought of that myself. Yeah. I know, right? And it's we'll really nice with the cashews and the coconut flakes and the oof, Ooh, coconut good. flakes. Nice right. and crunchy. That's not fruit salad anymore. That's it is now. <laughs> is coconut not a fruit, technically? Sometimes. Well, <laughs> okay. It, it is time for you to get a haircut. For <laughs> game on. <laughs> for you to be ignored. <laughs> so. I think here? we should I'm play. She's <laughs> really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should play. How about concentration? Okay. Let's play concentration. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So how concentration works is... It's time um, to shame your profession. <laughs> you say um, names of something, either names of cars, and oh, then okay. you each have to say one You can't hesitate. Quickly. You can't hesitate. hesitate. It's got to be quick. And if you miss it four, four times, you're out. You did 20 push-ups. So push -ups. I'll, start with <laughs> an, I'll start with an easy one. Concentration, concentration. We'll start concentration. from me. We'll start from me. Go this way. <laughs> concentration, concentration. Concentration. Um, types of antibiotics. Penicillin. I have no idea. <laughs> that, you said it was supposed to be it's an easy, easy one. one for Dr. D. <laughs> you said. And I'll give you like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried well, to help her out. Sorry, I'm okay. Too late. Okay. I don't even know if that's it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Anyway. Whatever. Concentration, concentration. Concentration. Names of specializations in medicine. I know what mm. you're going to say. Goya. Talk. Gynecology. Cardiothoracic. Obstetrics. Internal medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, you. You thought she was going to miss no, it. I knew she was going to say internal medicine. Uh -huh. I was hoping she wouldn't though. Okay. Go on. Concentration, concentration. 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 Names of places, cities or countries that begin with the letter P. Palestine. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Panama. Paraguay. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was just one time. What's going to be my second one? <laughs> <laughs> See, mine goes around. Everybody has a chance. <laughs> your turn, your turn. Your turn. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is there none that should be scared, I know, actually? Right? <laughs> <laughs> be nice, be nice. No. <laughs> Something simple. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't even know. I know they're kind of serious person. Okay. Names of clubs in Lagos. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do it. Sim. Escape. Grasshoppers. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we love to have missed I've never heard, heard of grasshoppers. grasshoppers. It's in Festac. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, obviously, you can tell who goes to the clubs and who doesn't over here. We're going to go on another no, break when we come back. Ready. I was just going to start on Adela Deku and just go, no, go down. down. I'm out. We're going to go on a break. We'll be right back, guys. We'll see you in a bit. See your life. See your life. <laughs> Dr. Duru. Dr. Duru goes to the club. Welcome back to the spot. It's almost time for us to go, but before we do, we have a sweet spot for you. Yes. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Because I was trying to figure your accent out. Which one? The one you just did. Um, I don't know. Still. <laughs> 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 <No. laughs> it's okay. been it's been like affected. <laughs> my infected. my okay, I guess infected today is in my last wow. two years here. Sorry. Infected, go on. really? <laughs> okay. Uh, so today it's my sweet spot. Or oh, actually, it's actually somebody else's sweet spot that I've obtained. And what is the sweet spot? Yes. The sweet spot from um, Mark, one of our guys here, is when you take a risk on something and it pays off. It makes him feel all bubbly inside. 
Yeah. Hmm. That's a good sweet spot, I think. But the moment, but like, I mean, the, Don't the moment before it's a sweet that. Spot. Let it I know, no, no, no. I'm just saying that the moment before that, when you're trying to calculate taking that risk and everything, yeah, it's exactly. very scary. And that's why it's sweet when it pays yeah. off. Yeah. Like, <gasps> True. Gosh. That's why it's lost bubbly inside. Hmm. Hmm. PG. PG. Was it in a Lagos club? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it was when she was in a Lagos club. Never mind. <laughs> What's one of your sweet spots? It could be anything. It could anything be anything. that just makes you happy. Hmm. Hotels. Hotels? Yes. Okay. Wow. Walking into a room where the bed is made. Oh, yeah. You wake up and leave. I and the bed is made again. <laughs> <laughs> You're hungry. You press the button. And, and then they come back and clean. Yes! <laughs> So basically, you just have to leave, you just have to chill, chilling, yes. but like. <laughs> I mean, but you know, hotels. I mean, I wish there was like service apartments where you could live. And all of that and was happening. Yeah. I would pay. I oh, would wow. Pay. It's a no, good that's feeling. That's a really though, good one, yeah. It's a good feeling. Yeah. So yeah, that's mine. Okay. So you like to go on holidays? Love. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last place you went to? Hmm. England. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was that a, see, this, so it, I'm sorry, eh? For some people, was, I just yeah, want to say that sometimes there's some places that you go to and some, it doesn't feel like you really went on a yeah. holiday. But did because it feel? If I, was, if I was like in London, it wouldn't have. But I was in Chipnam, which is, oh, I mean, Chipnam. nothing happens there. Yeah. You sleep, wake up, get on the train, go to bath, shop, yeah. come back, sleep, okay. eat. That's a good holiday. Yes. When they're shopping, they sleep, and there's, there's food. food. But, I'm good. I need a holiday. Can the spotters put a fund to? Can I? I mean, go fund me. Are we me. crowdfunding? Can now? we crowdfund for, for, for laminates on it? That's a Kickstarter for. I'm telling <laughs> for you. For your own personal. Can someone did a Kickstarter for potato salad. A Kickstarter for potato. Potato salad. And you know, people actually people paid. Paid. Yeah, it was like in the thousands. I just thought to myself, Americans. But would <sighs> is it just one potato salad? <laughs> 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 I need to know. That's a good question because, like, why it do you like a, they wanted to come? It was like a recipe. It was so, it was like a weird thing, and I just thought to myself. But first of all, why would you? And the picture was like of a generic potato salad, and I just thought to myself, <laughs> America, where forth? <laughs> I mean, going? but now you hear of cases of people crowdfunding for college funds. No, yeah. And, um, but there are certain things I can. Whole, I can actually yeah. virginity. Yeah. What thing? Yes, what there virginity? are people who you know. Actually, no, that's not crowdfunding. That's auctioning off uh, their virginity. So. Not that that's any better, but I mean, jeez. Well, I don't know. <laughs> People should... It might be. Some, it might be look, someone's When spot. you're desperate, <laughs> or maybe not even desperate, or you feel like this thing that you have is so precious and you want to make some if money off precious, of it. If it's precious, why are you that? selling it? Exactly. It's precious enough for me to make a couple of thousand dollars. Yeah, you make money off precious diamonds, don't you? Okay, <sighs> I guess, I guess. I don't know, but that diamond can be resold, it can be chipped, it can be, you can make it into earrings, into... It can be resold and restitched. Hey! Yes, thank you. That's what we call a vaginal plastic <laughs> thing, right? So yep. I would just like to say um, at this point that the views expressed <laughs> within um, Zainab and Ibuka's minds do not actually reflect my own... Dr. Contributed, I don't know what I'm talking about. And, and Dr. I mean, D. Yeah, do do not, not, not me. It's not, it's it's not, not my business. I'm not there. No, I don't think We're asking an important no. question. No, we're asking if the vaginal plastic thing is, is popular plastic here. surgery popular here? Yeah. Um, the m plastic surgery that's more popular here is real corrective surgery. Yeah, okay, not necessarily I don't, not elect, cosmetic. Um, what you call yeah. cosmetic. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, it's time for us to go before we get into any more trouble. Thank you very much, Chama, <laughs> for being here today and Thank enlightening you. us. Thank you, Doc. All things skin conditions. We'll Thanks see you guys next week, me. as usual. Bye. You have to sign our wall. Oh, bye. Yeah, well, the job. Yes, please. And then we'll just say. The spot was brought to you by Feroz.